they just give me gear and I put it on. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it was one of our uh, one of our big things last year, just being connected. So you might like the term equipment guys ran with the got the little logo in there. Kind of like it. Yeah, it's nice. Does it look good on you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. sweet. How, uh, day two, I guess. I mean, you guys had kind of a two a day yesterday. You guys hit the court on Monday after having a weekend. Just what what what's kind of where are you guys at right now? Yeah, I, I think right where we expect to be. Uh, we got we have a lot to get in. It's still sloppy. It's, it's funny, Mike. I'm always one getting on Mike. Then ah, we're going a little too long. We need to get get our guys off the feet. And he, and he called me last night and he's like, so two days of two days. He's like, are are you sure? I was like, gosh, I'm turning into you, you know. <laughs> um, but it's 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 good. We had a really light day this morning, and then we'll come back and scrimmage this afternoon. Um, a lot of cleanup. We're making a lot of mistakes, but I, it, more so than anything, we're we, we're trying to play the way we want to play. Um, and I commend the guys for for picking a lot up in a in a, in a short amount of time. Are you guys trying to play faster again this year? Like, are you trying to push? Push or even more than you. We, we can't play fast enough. Uh, in in the NBA, everyone says they want to play fast. It's, it's really tough to do it consistently. Um, we we have the luxury of having Fox, um, a, a ton of shooting around him, and um, the faster we can play, the earlier we can touch the paint. You cannot play fast enough with our group. Um, I think we we need to put the foot on the gas even more and it, and it starts with summer league obviously we don't have De'Aaron on our team but those habits for for um, Slauson and, and um, Keegan and even Kessler and Keon it, even Nimi um, rim running it, you, you they have to learn to play at the pace that we're trying to push them to and hopefully we get to a point with with our actual Kings team where we have to say okay we got to pump the brakes a little bit um, Steve Kerr used to use the term fast, loose, and but disciplined, uh, and, and Mike used it a lot. There's there's a trick to playing fast because you can get reckless. Um, if if you just play fast to play fast with without the proper spacing, you're going to run into a lot of problems. But if if you can play fast, if you can play loose, if you're sh if you're open, shoot it. If you got to learn to attack, attack. But then play discipline, limit the turnovers. I, I think we were, we were really good offensively uh, this this past season in transition. But we were also had a, had a huge number of turnovers that got us in some trouble. So I think finding that happy medium, starting with the summer league team, and then for our guys that will transition to the actual Kings team, uh, is a huge point of emphasis for us. And what's the biggest challenge in trying to incorporate young guys into that that mentality where you are pushing the pace while knowing there's so much reading and reacting going on more so than maybe set plays? Yes, it's difficult. Uh, a lot of these guys come from colleges, and no disrespect to the college game. I love the college game, but it's, it's a totally different brand of basketball where a, a lot of the structure is go do this, and then they go do it. Whereas especially with our system, uh, a lot of it is just reading the game, feeling. Um, if, you have a, if you have a lane to cut, cut, but then you got to re-space. And if you re-space and someone's there, they got to re-space. And so that, that give and take a lot of times for young guys, um, it, it takes some time. It, it takes a feel. It takes. It, it's there's an art to it. That w again, with the way we we want to play and we think is the best way to play. So it, it's. I expect it to be sloppy, um, even with with our real team in training camp. It's it's tough. I mean, we lost we lost four games in a row. We looked awful, and and everyone could feel the angst, right? Um, but we knew what we were trying to do with this group, and Mike is is so good about just keeping everything level, right? Um, and I'm, I'm trying to be the same way with Summer League. Obviously, it's, it's far less stakes, but it's the same feeling. We're so sloppy right now, but every day they get a little bit better. Every day they pick up one cut that they didn't the day before. And as, as coaches, that's our job, is just to help these guys uh, find a comfort level on both sides of the ball. If Keegan is able to get a little bit more reps or initiating the break or in the half court, like what do you think is the key to him finding success in those areas? Yeah, Ke Keegan, like I said yesterday, Keegan's taking a step um, to me in all areas. Defensively, his aggressiveness, um, his scoring. I, I, I say it often that Keegan last year, he, he was incredible. I mean, you know, all, all rookie team, you know, all, all of his awards that he got were, were well-deserved, but he didn't have a lot of wiggle. I told him he needs to go salsa dance. Like, there, there just wasn't a lot of, of, of wiggle to his game. 
or his personality. It was just very, he walked in Baskin Robbins and it was all vanilla. <laughs> and, and it was still ice cream, so it was good. Man, that was great. I gotta use that with Tegan. <laughs> uh, but he's finding a little bit of wiggle. Like he's finding that confidence he's, he's throwing some sprinkles on. And I think whether it's pushing the ball, whether it's um, getting into, and, and, and we're not encouraging, cr- encouraging him to make uh, poor basketball or less efficient basketball plays. Part of what me- makes Keegan special is he is simple. He can catch it, he can shoot it. And that's what we need from him. But part of his growth and his next step is to find the confidence to take a guy off the dribble one, two, maybe a step back. And we don't need to do it 10 times a game, but the capability of him doing that opens up the floor for Fox and Domas just having, and, and even Monk, for having one more guy um, that can just attack and create his own shot, especially when we get to the playoffs. When you talk about implementing some guys. of the staples into this team, is it those same you know five offensive and defensive as last year, or does that adjust? Yeah, I, I, I tried to narrow it down to three on each side of the ball. Just again, it was um, so so little time to get everything in, and a, a lot of times, especially with new guys that are coming from college. There's just so much being thrown at them. And five on each side with a whole regular season, preseason, full training camp, to me, are a, a pretty easy um, to uh, to learn and, and basically just become second nature. So I'm just keeping it uh, three on both sides of the ball. Um, so we just we just got pace and space. Uh, we got ball movement and paint touches. And on, on the other side of the ball, um, we, have, we have ball pressure with, with physicality. We have no middle. And then we have multiple efforts where we're flying around. We're not giving up on plays. Well, what's Can you tell us more? about Lamar, guys? Can you tell us about Jordan Ford, his skill set, what you see in him, and what he could provide this summer? Yeah, Jordan, uh, it's funny. I, I told Jordan the other day, and I'm not saying he is this guy, but there was a guy a couple years ago, um, five, six years ago, that just started showing up. He was a local guy. He just started showing up and working out. And obviously, I, I wasn't here. I was in Golden State, and we were all other places. But we've heard the story. Um, he was he was around the team. He finished college, didn't really have anything going, so he just came in because he was local and started playing pickup. Um, and then next thing you know, some of the front office guys here were like, "Oh, this kid's pretty good." So I invite him to the G League. And he plays a couple years in the G League, does pretty good. Now he gets a two way. Does pretty good on a two way. Now he's on a roster. And I was like, Jordan, you know who I'm talking about? He's like, Yeah, it's Gabe Vincent. I'm like, He just started every game in the NBA Finals. So like, and I'm not saying Jordan is Gabe Vincent, but it, there's some parallels between what he's doing. He's doing all the right things. He's showing up. He's here early. He's just sitting there watching Fox work out, waiting for the court to be open, and then he's working out. Um, so part of that with with local guys that just want to show up and get better, um, and then are part of our organization in the G League. We love having those guys around. He has a he has a great way about him, a great attitude. He works his butt off. Uh, and, and he plays the right way. He plays our style of basketball. He's smart with the ball. He's tough. He's gritty. So I'm I'm super excited to, to coach Jordan in uh, in summer league. Well, what's hey, it right here? Last what's one. It, what's down. it mean for you guys to have Harrison Barnes back? Thanks, huge. Um, has that officially gone through? Can I talk about that? No, I can't no. talk about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hypothetically, uh, if Harrison Barnes were to come back, I'm, I'm happy for Harrison. <laughs> I'm happy for us. <laughs> All right, Thanks, we're done, guys. guys.